Yeah, let's go over um, 11.08 defang IP address. So the question says, given a valid IP address, return a defanged version of that IP address. A defanged IP address replaces every period with this, um, period with brackets. So if you look at our example one, we have 1.1.1.1. 1 .1 1 .1. We want to change every period or dot with this. So if you look at our example for the first one, 1.1.1.1, 1 .1 1 .1, you want to keep this, oops, keep that, replace the period, keep the one, replace, keep the one, replace, and keep the one. Okay, now let's um, code our solution. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a function uh, which has a primary address and address is a string. So what we want to do now is we want to store our result somewhere. So let's take a variable named result and set it, this, set it to an empty string. And we want to go through each character in our string. So let's make a for loop. i is equal to zero. i is less than address that thing increment by one I'm just gonna make a variable named character and it's gonna refer to character at index i all right and now we want to check if this character is equal to a period or not so if character is equal to a period we want to push in or actually add or concatenate result plus equals brackets period brackets result okay else if it's not is if it's not equal to a period we want to just concatenate it so we will just do result plus equals character okay and finally we want to return the result All right, let's check our result. So for the first one, we get all right this, which looks right. Okay, for the next one, two fifty five hundred fifty zero. Okay, looks right. There we go. Okay, guys, um, let's go over our code one more time. So we take a function named defang IP address, which takes in one parameter, and this is a string. And we declare a variable result, um, set it equal to an empty string, and we'll return that later when we're done. So we're going to go through each character in the string using a for loop and we start at index 0, the first one. And I just made a variable named character that refers to that character at index i. And we check with the if statement. If the current character is equal to a period, what we're going to do is we're going to add in this. If it's not, we're just going to add in the uh, current character. So if you look at 255, our second example, 100.50.0 it's a string so the first character is 2 so we add that to our result next one is a 5 which is not a period so we add again next one is 5 we add again and next one is a period so this if statement runs so we add a bracket with a period 100 is not a period so we add and this one is a period so we add this 0 I mean 50 we add 50 this one is a period, we add a period with brackets, and finally it's zero, we add zero. And we're done with our loop after going through all our string, and we return our result.